Hello, everyone, and welcome to the session on the future generation of LCMSMS solutions presented by Vicki Starkey and Robert Wardle. I'm Benjamin Dugas, the Senior Global Marketing Manager for Clinical Diagnostics at Waters Corporation, and I'll be your moderator for this webinar. We at Waters Corporation are excited to have you join us for this session, and for more information on our clinical solutions, please visit us at waters.com backslash clinical. Before we get started, I wanted to go over the webinar console with you. I'd like to remind everyone that you can engage with us by submitting as many questions as you want at any time during the presentation. To do so, simply type them into the Q&A box and click on the Submit button. We'll answer as many questions as we have time for during the live Q&A at the end of the presentation. Just below the Q&A box, there's a host of resources for you to discover. To the far right of your screen, you can ask, access the full biographies of our presenters today. And just below that, if you could please fill out the webinar survey, we would really appreciate it. On the bottom of the presentation window is where you can share this event with your colleagues and friends. So now I'd like to introduce you to our two speakers. Vicki Starkey has been working at Waters the last eight years in a variety of roles supporting clinical diagnostic and forensic toxicology customers, providing pre and post sales application support. In January 2021, Vicki joined the product management and marketing team and is passionate about developing LCMSMS solutions that support the future needs of clinical customers. Robert Wardle is a, currently a senior scientist employed at Waters Corporation in Winslow, UK, performing research and development of applications and products for clinical research. His primary area of research is vitamins, and in particular, vitamin D metabolites, steroid hormones, and he has an in-depth knowledge of offline and online automation. You can find a complete biography on our speakers in the biography tab on the console window. So with that, I'd like to hand it over to our first presenter, Vicki Starkey. A very warm welcome to everybody joining us today. My name is Vicki Starkey, and I'm a Principal Product Marketing Manager at Waters Corporation, based out of our mass spectrometry headquarters just outside Manchester in the UK. So today, I'd like to share with you the evolution and our long history supporting our clinical customers. I'd also like to discuss the benefits of LC and SMS, and how our IVD system solutions and end-to-end -end workflows can be used to support some of the common therapeutic areas. And then I'd like to hand over to Robert Wardle, who'll discuss the journey of a sample through an automated LCMS workflow. So we're incredibly proud of our history. And Jim Waters, our founder, who was a pioneer in liquid chromatography, first established Waters in 1958. Later in 1980, we, were, we merged with Millipore, and this was the start of our global expansion. So in 1996 and 97, we acquired Micromass and TA instruments, which then enabled us to manufacture complete LCMS solutions, thermal analyzers, and rheometers. Later in 99, we saw the inception of our first, in clinic, our first clinical team, where Waters were the first to implement newborn screening of inborn areas and metabolism by mass spectrometry. We then developed our own CE IVD solutions for immunosuppressants, vitamin D, and most recently, the launch of our research use only SARS COVID-2 kit. And we hope to provide continual focus on sustainable innovation, growth, and value creation to best support and partner with our clinical customers. So Waters pioneered the field of LCMS application in clinical, and we've been delivering cutting edge innovations in LC and mass spectrometry, laboratory chemistries and informatics ever since. So I'd like to share with you some fast facts. So Waters first implemented newborn screening of inborn errors and metabolism by mass spectrometry. We were the first major LCMS manufacturer to receive ISO 13485 accreditation for medical device manufacturing. And in the US, we received the first 510K clearance for Neolinx, the newborn screening, and Tacrolimus IVD kit for therapeutic drug monitoring. That led us then to launch our CE marked mass track kit for Tacrolimus and Everolimus, and also a kit based solution for vitamin D. 
We launched our CIDD Renata DX screening system to support newborn screening. And earlier this year, we launched the world's first LCMS based solution for SARS COVID 2, which was a research use only kit which helped in the research to help the research community to fight against the pandemic. Now we have our mass track endocrine steroid and immunosuppressant calibrators and controls. And most recently, we have focused our mass track IVD system solutions. And I'll go into a little bit more detail about these solutions in the following slides. So here at Waters, we're dedicated in the advancement of human health and wellness. And we do this by providing innovative analytical solutions to help our customers to identify and manage disease, solve drug-related crime, and protect society from harmful substances. And this is something that everyone that works at Waters is passionate about, um, as well as our customers. Um, and this is what makes us get up and go to work every day. So what are the true benefits of LCMS-based solutions over techniques such as immunoassay? So we can really categorize these into five main areas. The first being specificity. So immunoassays are antibody based and could often create issues with cross reactivity and often lead to erroneous results. The next would be sensitivity. So the LCMS based solutions benefit from additional sensitivity through improved specificity. And therefore we have the ability to measure much lower levels of of, of analyte allowing us to detect down to picomole per mil. LCMS based solutions provide greater flexibility, allowing testing to be carried out through the use of lab developed tests, even when there aren't any commercially available tests available on the market. Also, time to market can be much faster. And finally, we have the ability to multiplex. So we can run multiple analytes in just one injection of a sample, and this is often a huge advantage over immunoassay analyzers. So this next slide, I'd like to talk about common therapeutic areas and, and the benefit from our LCMS solutions. So the first is endocrinology, and typically steroid analysis, biogenic amines or vitamin D analysis, also protein and peptide analysis, therapeutic drug monitoring to include immunosuppressant analysis, antibodies, antidepressants or antifungals, metabolic disorders as well, acyl carnitine profiling, amino acids, and also adrenal steroids are often used by uh, LCMS. And then also we can, you know, we look at clinical toxicology, such as opioids, benzodiazepines, amphetamines, and cathinones as well are often analyzed by LCMS. So over the next few slides, I'll discuss water's clinical diagnostic solutions that support the whole end-to-end -end workflow, from sample handling and preparation using one of our mass track reagent kits or calibrator and QC sets, to sample analysis. And I'd like to provide an overview of our mass track IDD system solutions portfolio and then the all important service and support. And finally, the informatic solutions that pull everything together. So we have a range of mass track reagent kits, calibrator and control sets to support vitamin D analysis, endocrine steroids, and also immunosuppressants. Our mass track IVD vitamin D reagent kit is a complete C IVD mark reagent kit for the measurement of 25 hydroxy vitamin D2 and D3. It has a wide reportable range of 10 nanomole per litre up to 375 nanomole per litre, all traceable to standard reference material supporting ISO 15189. Then we have our mass track IVD endocrine steroid calibrator and QC set that are metrologically traceable to support ISO 15189. The complete calibrator and quality control set provides improved accuracy of steroids and supports the relevant reference ranges for both pediatric and female hormone analysis. Then we have our mass track IVD immunosuppressant calibrator and control set, again traceable to standard reference material supporting ISO 15189 standards. And the sets include all four of the pertinent analytes required for immunosuppressant analysis. So having this complete 
calibrator and control set not only provides improved accuracy, but also reduces many of the labour intensive preparation steps associated with this sort of analysis. So moving on to sample preparation, we have a range of SBE products to support both manual and automated sample prep workflows, removing many of the unwanted phospholipids and proteins from our biological sample matrix ensures that we have the cleanest sample prior to injection. This not only protects our analytical column for any un you know, unnecessary blockages, but also results in optimal performance, sensitivity, and reduces instrument downtime. So our range of analytical UPLC columns support increased sample throughput by enabling fast analysis times with sub two micron particle size chemistry. So our workflows support the use of automated sample preparation and liquid handling robots that range from low volume to high volume. The Otto SDE positive pressure manifold helps to improve reproducibility, reliability of solid phase extractions, and it minimizes user to user variability and improves reproducibility of analyte recoveries. It's a semi-automated system that can help to simplify method development, but also eliminate those common workflow er errors whilst achieving greater efficiency. It also supports 21 CFR Part 11 compliant software. But the Andrew Alliance has a range of products to support medium to high volume sample throughput. The Andrew Plus is a pipetting robot that util utilizes conventional electronic pipettes. And by automating many of these manual steps, it not only frees up scientists' time to focus on other activities, but also helps to improve pipetting in precision and eliminate possible transcription errors. And then finally, our workflows support high volume liquid handling robots. Our MathLink software and file converter provides complete sample tracking from primary tube to results for multiple clinical applications. And Robert will provide more details on these automated workflows in the following slides. So this brings us to the analytical element of the workflow. Our MathTrack IBD system solutions provide a full a fully regulatory compliant solution to include IVDR. We can offer a flexible system configuration with three tiers of performance to meet method, productivity, and sensitivity requirements depending on the type of analysis being performed. The Acuity UPLC I Class Plus, coupled together with the Zevo TQD, provides a real solid platform that's ideal for routine quantitation. Then we have our mid tier platform which is the iClass Plus with the Zevo TQS Micro. And this is an ideal platform for both routine and low concentration analyte quantification. And the system really benefits from having a wide dynamic range, resulting in improved testing capabilities. The Acuity iClass Plus with Zevo TQXS is ideal for complex trace analysis, particularly when wanting to develop, to develop those in-house esoteric tests. So in addition to our three tiers of MS performance, it's also possible to configure the inlet depending on workflow and analytical requirements, all whilst maintaining a fully regulatory compliant solution. The inlet is based upon our Acuity UPLC iClass Plus, which is cutting edge separations performance. It has ultra low dispersion and delay volume, and it's possible to run real fast ballistic gradients shortening analysis times and reducing solvent usage whilst maximizing resolution. So there's extremely narrow peaks that are generated help to speed up access to critical patient data. In addition, there are some flexible options that could further optimize throughput. So we can add the sample organizer. So ensuring the system's kept topped up with samples and it's running continuously, even when you're away from the bench. Adding the column manager provides the flexibility to run multiple methods on a single instrument by connecting multiple columns with automated switching. Or it's possible to choose between the flow through needle design or a fixed loop. So as the MathTrack IDD system solutions are not available in all regions due to, due to lengthy registration processes, we can also offer these fixed 
configurations that are also IDDD and IDDR compliant. They're based on the same three tiers of performance in terms of the mass spec. However, the inlet configuration is a little more restrictive. But in addition, we also have our Renata DX screening system that I touched on before that is ideal for high throughput blood spot screening of amino acids and acyl carnitine. So this brings us to our informatics solutions. Our MathLinks IVD software provides a fundamental platform to acquire, analyze, and manage data. It connects automatically to third-party LIMS using HL7 protocols and our MathLinks LIMS interface. And this helps to improve data workflows and eliminate transcription errors. Our MathLinks basic security software allows you to manage the system and provide access to specific people or users and assign those access rights to different system functions, increasing the ease of use for the everyday user. Waters IntelliStart software provides simple and automated system checks that allows the system to be monitored to ensure it's operating effectively and intervention can happen before any, value, any valuable samples are lost. The Target Links IVD software enables data to be processed simultaneously during acquisition and also enables results to be reviewed on the fly. So it's possible to configure flags, limits and outliers and acceptance criteria that can be viewed easily and quickly. Finally, the integrated software solutions provide an integration of any laboratory analyzer into one single software with the analytical instrument hub. And it has the ability to be interfaced with either uni or bi-directional messaging, helping to streamline those important laboratory workflows. So we're very sensitive to the fact that instrument performance and uptime is critical to clinical customers. Therefore, we've designed a service and support plan specifically with the needs of our clinical customers in mind. So this provides priority on-site support access to Waters clinically trained engineers and application specialists, specialists who can troubleshoot the end-to-end -end workflow. We also guarantee 48-hour on-site response if remote technical support is not possible. The service plan includes annual performance and maintenance visits that can work around very busy laboratories, ensuring that minimal disruption is caused. So thanks so much for listening. Uh, without further ado, I would like to hand over to Robert will be covering the automated LCMS workflow. Thanks, Vicky and Ben, for the kind introduction, and welcome to this part of the presentation on the journey of a sample through an automated LCMS MS workflow. My name is Robert Wardle, and I'm a senior scientist at Waters Corporation, where my role involves the development and support of applications on our LCM SMS system, and I also focus on automating these workflows. Next slide, please. Today, I will go through why you would want to focus on automation for LCMS workflows. We will take a look at the Waters automation portfolio and then we will go on the journey of the sample through this workflow before finally looking at an example for a panel of steroid hormones, which is an application on progestogens and androgens. Next slide, please. Once the sample is received into a laboratory for LCMS analysis, the first thing we will need to do is perform some form of sample extraction. And the reason for this is that we need to remove matrix interferences. This helps to increase signal to noise by reducing chromatographic background noise detected in the mass spectrometer. The result of this is an increase in analytical sensitivity and provides better, more consistent quantification. Sample extraction also reduces variability associated with matrix effects more specifically iron suppression and enhancements effects. This provides more consistent data and increased robustness of the LCMS system, 
through improved column lifetime and therefore reducing costs as fewer columns will require replacement. It also reduces downtime associated with cleaning of the system and its components as the sample being introduced to the system is much cleaner. There is also the benefit of concentrating the analytes of interest and particularly those which are present at low levels that can be difficult to quantify. Next slide, please. And of course, sample extraction can be time consuming and laborious. And I know I've certainly had some long days in the lab where it's felt like my hand's about to fall off like Arnie's. It's also prone to human error, especially where there are more complex extraction procedures required. And transcription errors are also possible, such as when manually typing results into a LIMS. This is why Waters has focused on automation and looking at ways to improve the workflow from sample receipt through to reporting of results back into a LIMS to minimise these problems. Next slide, please. So now let's focus on our current solutions and then take a more in-depth look at how each of these can be applied to the LCMS workflow. And as Vicky has already touched upon, we've split products up into three categories based on sample throughput volume. So for labs running a lower number of tests, products such as the Andrew Alliance Pipette Plus, which are electronic handheld pipettes, can provide a simple to use smart pipette system to help improve pipetting accuracy and minimize human error. If solid phase extraction is performed, then the Otto specialist can improve flow control when drawing samples through and diluting from the SPE plate with automated pressure gradients. The next step up into medium volume workflows looks at the Andrew Alliance Andrew Plus liquid handling robot, which automates part or all of the sample extraction process, allowing for the analyst to perform other tasks whilst the samples are being extracted. And then we come on to the higher volume workflows with the larger liquid handling robots, such as the Tecum Freedom Evo series or Hamilton Star products, which give the highest level of automation for LCMS workflows and have the largest amount of flexibility. And another very important part is sample tracking, which helps to minimize transcription errors. And this is where the MassLinks LIMS interface and file converter tools come in. And these allow for connectivity between the LIMS, MassLinks, which is the Waters LCMS system software, and in some cases, the liquid handling robot software. And the role of these products is to transfer information such as the sample ID, the well position and the results. Next slide, please. So now I'm going to take you on our journey of the sample before we look at each of these products discussed and how they fit into this process. So the journey begins with a request for the analysis of a sample. Multiple samples are typically batched together for the same analysis prior to their extraction and quantification. And in the case of the Pipette Plus, no LIMS connectivity is co possible currently. And therefore, once the lab is ready to perform the test, the work list with all samples to be tested is printed and the analyst will retrieve these samples and perform the sample extraction. The analyst will then place the extracted samples onto the LCMS system for analysis. A MassLinks sample list can then be created by using the MassLinks LIMS interface software. And with this, the sample ID from the LIMS is imported and the LCMS method information from a method specific template are set. The analyst must then specify the well position or vial position of the samples, as with Pipette Plus, the sample extraction process is still performed manually. Once this is done, the sample run is submitted and the LCMSMS quantification is performed. The final piece of the journey is the same for all LCMS workflows. Once the data has been acquired, the batch is processed in Target Links Access software by the analyst. They can then check that all the acceptance criteria has been met, 
such as the calibration line correlation coefficient and QC sample bias being within the allowable limits. Target Links also has features to assist the analyst in processing data, where data can be flagged if it is outside of these preset tolerance limits. The data set is then reviewed and approved before being sent back to the LIMS using the MassLinks LIMS interface. Next slide, please. So how does Pipette Plus assist in this process and what is different when compared to a simple electronic handheld pipette? Well, Pipette Plus are browser-controlled electronic pipettes meaning that the extraction method is programmed into the OneLab software and the analyst will then execute the method and the software will guide them step by step through the extraction. And on top of this, the volume of the pipette is set by the software automatically and with the simple press of a button, the pipette will aspirate the reagent and then another press to dispense into the required container. And all of this is nicely displayed in the software, which you can just about see in the image shown. And of course, as a result of this, you will get improved lab productivity and reproducibility of results. Next slide, please. If we compare this to the Andrew Plus for a medium volume workflow, the two are very similar. However, obviously, with the Andrew Plus, the sample extraction is performed on a liquid handling robot as opposed to being done manually. And this should help to improve the day-to-day -day precision of results and reduce human error, and also allow the analyst to perform other tasks whilst the sample extraction process is, is taking place. Again, the journey begins with the request for the analysis of a sample with the samples being batched together. The analyst then retrieves the samples and either adds them to the deck of the Andrew Plus or transfers them into a 96 well plate for sample extraction, along with all reagents and consumables required. And all of this is guided by the OneLab software. The extraction run will then be executed. And once completed, the analyst places the extracted samples onto the LCMS system for analysis. The remaining part of the workflow is then the same as we described for Pipette Plus, with a MassLink sample list being created using the MassLink LIMS interface software and samples quantified. Data is processed, reviewed and approved and then sent back to the LIMS, again using the MassLink LIMS interface tool. Next slide, please. If we take a look at Andrew Plus in more detail, like Pipette Plus, it is, it's controlled by the OneLab software, providing an easy to use visual interface to assist with the setup to run the extraction method and allows full traceability of protocols. Andrew Plus also has the ability to perform a range of extraction techniques, such as protein precipitation, solid phase extraction, and liquid-liquid extractions with its small footprint allowing for it to be placed inside a fume hood. The analyst will load the samples, which could either be in the sample tubes or transferred into a 96 well plate, add the reagents and consumables, and then execute the protocol in the OneLab software. And then whilst the sample extraction run is taking place, the analyst time is obviously freed up, allowing them to perform other tasks. Next slide, please. And our final sample journey to discuss is for higher volume workflows, where a TEK and Freedom Evo or Hamilton Star platform is used. On the TEK and liquid handling robot, a batch of samples is loaded onto the liquid handling robot from a printed work list. Reagents and consumables are loaded and checked using laboratory SOPs and then the script is set to run. On the Hamilton Star or Starlet systems, however, there is the option to compare samples requested from the limbs against those loaded on the Hamilton system. And to do this, the MassLinks limbs interface will create a file listing the samples for the analysis required. 
The analyst will then load these samples and the sample tube barcodes are scanned and compared to those listed in this work list. And any differences between the two will then be flagged to the analyst before the extraction run begins. And the advantage of this is that it ensures that the correct samples are extracted and analysed for that particular test. On both the Tekin and Hamilton systems, sample tube barcodes are scanned and tracked through the extraction process, and so their final location is known. And once the run is completed, a file is generated with this information present. And in the case of the TCAN, a file converter is used to allow the sample ID and well position to be combined with a template that contains the LCMS method information, and this creates the sample list in mass links. However, for the Hamilton, all the information can be generated with Hamilton's Venus software, and so the file can be generated directly with no need for a file converter. Once the sample list has been generated, the analyst transfers the plate containing the extracted samples into the LCMS system. And as with all the other workflows, then samples are analyzed, data processed, and then reported back to the LIMS. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, the Hamilton Star and Teak and Freedom Evo systems all have the ability to track samples through the extraction process from the sample tube barcode scanned by the robot. And as you would expect, many different types of sample extraction methods are possible, depending on the deck layout selected. But the options available on each of these systems is almost endless, and I'm sure if you wanted, you could make some very precise cocktails. These systems also have the ability to perform liquid level detection, which ensures that there is a sufficient volume of sample and reagents to perform the method with the volume set in the software. And to date, these liquid handling robots give the highest level of automation for the water's LCMSMS workflows. Uh, next slide, please. Mass links and target links also contain features to assist in the acquiring and approval process using mass links basic security. And in this, user privileges can be set. For example, groups are created by an administrator, which is typically a lab director, to allow for different permissions, such as full system access for method developers, and just run and process samples for analysts. And using the Windows operating system, a user account is created and then assigned to a particular group, depending on their training and job role. All actions that are then performed in mass links are tracked, with an audit log being maintained. Target links also has features to require signatures and reasons for changes to, in, for, uh, sorry, reasons for changes to integration, for example, signatures for reviewing and accepting data sets. Next slide, please. And so to summarize before I go through a, an example, Waters has seen there is a need to simplify the LCMSMS workflow as much as possible. And this is why we have tried to address each of the bottlenecks in the process from the request for a sample analysis right through to the reporting of results back into the LIMS, completing the circular sample journey. Automating the workflow as much as possible should help to improve robustness and precision of the results, minimise human error, and also minimise transcription errors. Next slide, please. And so with my final few slides, I just wanted to go through an example where we have used this workflow to simplify the extraction and analysis of a panel of steroid hormones within our lab. And I think it nicely shows some of the features that have discussed and also goes through a typical sample extraction method for LCMS. For this testing, I performed a precision performance experiment where I evaluated QC samples at low, mid and high concentration levels. Five replicates of each QC sample were extracted and analysed on each of five occasions, along with a calibration line on the Hamilton Star platform. 
Analysis was performed on a water security UPLC I-Class CIVO TQS Micro LCMS MS system. And due to no limbs present in our lab, as it's not a production site, we used a limb simulator tool to simulate this portion of the workflow. Next slide, please. A test file was created using the MathLinks limbs interface, which contains the method ID used to ensure that the correct script is loaded on the Hamilton, and also the sample ID information. This file was selected in the Hamilton method, as you can just about see in the top box of this image. And the file is also used by the system to calculate the number of samples to extract. The analyst then selects the first available well position in the 96 well plate, and this allows for partially used extraction plates to be used. Uh, next slide, please. The Hamilton also allows for loading instructions, which guide the analyst through loading of the deck and also barcode checking, and this ensures that all consumables and reagents have been loaded correctly. For example, if the water reagent trough had been loaded into position two on the deck rather than position one, an error message will be received for the analyst to change the position of that trough to be correct before continuing the run. And all of these features are optional in the method, being displayed with a checkbox as shown in the image. However, it's also possible to lock these down within the script itself. Uh, next slide, please. For the sample extraction of this method, we followed our application note, which is also available on the WATERS website if you would like further information. Following loading and barcode scanning, 100 microliters of sample was transferred from the sample tubes into a 96 well plate, where internal standard was added, followed by protein precipitation being performed. The liquid handling robot mixed the samples after each reagent addition that centrifugation was performed off deck. Following this, samples were returned to the liquid handling robot and solid phase extraction performed using an onboard vacuum system. The next slide, please. Once the extraction run was completed, the collection plate was transferred manually into the LCMSMS for analysis and the MassLink sample lists were created from the output files generated directly by the Hamilton software. Next slide, please. The extracted samples were injected using the Acuity UPLC iClass FTN and samples separated using an Acuity UPLC HSS T3 column with dimensions of 2.1 by 50 millimeters and also a Vanguard pre-column. Detection was performed using the Zevo TQS Micro mass spectrometer and a runtime of five minutes injection to injection allowed for the analysis of 12 samples per hour. The workflow is also compatible with all LCMS system options that were previously discussed by Vicky. And once data was acquired, it was processed in target links before statistical analysis was performed using Analyze It in Excel. Uh, next slide, please. Um, and just to give you an idea of the hands-on time for the analysis of this steroid workflow, to process 96 samples manually would probably take around six hours to complete of analyst time. But utilizing the described automation workflow solution would probably take around two hours of hands-on time to complete allowing for other tasks to be performed, such as the all-important coffee breaks. Uh, next slide, please. So now let's come on to the results. Concentrations of each steroid hormone in the QC samples are shown in the table. When samples were extracted on the Hamilton across five days, total precision and repeatability were less than 6.7% at all concentrations for all of these steroid hormones showing the potential to provide a much more precise and robust workflow when compared to a manual approach, especially across multiple occasions, whilst also reducing the risk of human error and transcription errors. 
Uh, next slide, please. And so to summarize, I've gone through the reasons to focus on automation, where time consuming and laborious steps can be avoided and human error and transcription errors can be minimized, whilst also improving results across days with multiple analysts. We've looked at the current water automation portfolio and for LTM SMS workflows and taken the journey of the sample through this workflow before finally going through an example for steroid hormones. I hope you have found this useful and thank you for your attention. I'll now pass you on to Ben. Thank you, Vicky and Rob, for your informative presentation. We'll now start the live Q&A portion of the webinar. So if you have questions you'd like to ask, please do so now. Just click on the Q&A box located in the far top left of your screen. The live Q&A will start now. So thank you everyone and we have a few questions that have already come in just so a quick reminder that if you have any questions you can do that in the Q&A box. Uh, thank you Vicki and Rob. Um, one of the questions that came in were was about the availability of the MassTrex IBD systems and uh, is it available in all the different countries? Um, maybe Vicki if you could answer that. Sure thanks Ben that's a great question. Um, so the mass track um, IBD system um, is is not available in all countries yet. Um, we we have registered in the USA and also Canada, and we are currently working through uh, the European registrations. Uh, and we're working with our, um, our European partner Emergo on that European registration. And we are working towards uh, the new IVVR regulations that are coming into play on May 26. So that's very much in our minds, and we're just, like I say, we're working through the process at the moment of registering those products. So what I would urge everybody to do is to, is to contact your local waters representative to, to see if the products are available in your country. Great. Thank you, Vicky. Um, I get another question for you, Rob, maybe, um, is about the scripts that setting up scripts on these automated platforms and how complicated it is to to do script setup um yeah uh so thanks thanks for the question and thanks ben um i guess firstly it, it probably depends on the software um, that's being used um so for example if uh, you're using the andrew alliance one lab software um i would say this is very simple to create and also run new methods. Um, and just in, as an example, I actually had um, my 10-year-old daughter at the time write a part of the method that I was working on uh, as she was getting into a coding. Um, and she was able to do this without any prior knowledge of using the software um, and just having some guidance from myself. Um, but what I would say is with the larger uh, robots with the TCAN and the Hamilton, um, because they have a lot more flexibility and functionality with them. With that comes the added complexity to create new methods from scratch, um, and probably does require a, a relatively well-trained personnel and also support from TCAN and Hamilton. Um, however, that being said. Once the method is created, they can be made very simple to use and run on a day-to-day -day basis um, with things such as I described in the, in the presentation with the loading instructions to describe the loading process of the deck and also barcode checking to check that the analyst has loaded the deck correctly. Um, but what... Um, Waters are trying to do is create some scripts based on our clinical research application notes and then work closely with uh, customers and Hamilton and Teakin to try and simplify the setup of, of these LCMS workflow methods. Great, thank you, Rob. I must say that your 10 year old daughter was much, is much smarter than I was at 10. <laughs> <laughs> So another question for you, Rob, is um, 
how long does it take to extract the samples? Um, yeah, uh, thanks for the question again. Um, I would say this uh, is probably dependent on maybe two factors. So obviously the extraction method itself um, and then also the hardware configuration of, of the liquid handling robot. So by that I mean, for example, if you had a 96 well pipetting head versus uh, or channel pipette um, options. Um, but if I take uh, the example again in the presentation, uh, which was a, a protein precipitation followed by solid phase extraction method, um, for a full plate of 96 samples, I would say this would take approximately two hours to complete. Um, that includes the setup time at the start to load all the required components to run the method and samples and reagents and so forth. Um, if you're only performing a protein precipitation, for example, then would be a lot less um, and potentially could be as little as 10, 15 minutes. Um, but I think it's also important to note, although it's probably only slightly faster than maybe a well-trained analyst could perform these tasks. Um, the majority of that time is walk-away time for the analyst, so it would enable them to obviously perform other tasks required in the lab. And then you also have the added benefits as well as, as sample tracking to help create sample lists as well. Um, and minimizing human errors and transcription errors as well. Great, thank, thank you, Rob. Uh, don't forget, you can pop your questions in the Q&A if you have, if have any off the top of your head. Um, another question was if, uh, do, we, do you distribute the TCAN and Hamilton liquid handling robot? Uh, maybe Rob? Um, no, so, um, Waters doesn't supply these, and um, if uh, that would have to be done directly with Hamilton or Pecan or the, the provider. Um, but what we would do is work closely with uh, the customers and also Pecan and Hamilton to um, ensure that the correct setups required for the workflows are, are, are um, generated in that. The, the correct hardware, etc., is is uh, is um, uh, the information for that is passed on. Okay, thank you, Rob. Uh, just an, I guess an, another question that came in around the IVDR. Um, I know Vicky, you've already sort of mentioned that already, but it was about the instrument portfolio being compliant to the new IVDR. Maybe you can expand a little bit on that, or. Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, so the, the mass track uh, portfolio, um, as I mentioned in the presentation, um, incorporates, uh, from a hardware perspective, we're working with the iClass Plus um, instrument, the inlet, um, which you know we've, we've tried to provide sort of greater flexibility, really, with, with that inlet. So you can kind of customize it, really, depending on your sort of kind of workflow needs. So we, can, we now add the sample organizer and column manager then with a, a range of kind of detection um, uh, instruments. So all that portfolio is IVD and IVDR compliant. Um, and so we really, we've, we've worked really hard behind the scenes in kind of redesigning our design history files and in the way we manufacture products. So we are really working towards those new regulations um, with, with our hardware and the way we manufacture them, and also doing that kind of post-market surveillance, which is which is vital for uh, for medical devices. Yeah. Thank you, Vicky, for the information. Um, if you guys have any questions, again, please pop it in the Q and A. Uh, I don't see any more coming in at the moment. I'll just give a just a second. Um, but if we don't have any more questions, I want to thank the audience for joining us. Um, we appreciate you 
stopping by and, and listening to the, this webinar. And I want to thank Vicki and Rob. Vicki and Rob, thank you so much for uh, presenting uh, this webinar. No problem. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, Great. it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so if no, no other questions coming in, I think I'll go ahead and end this webinar. Thank you all.